Okay, in this tutorial, I'm just going to show you the difference between a couple of ways to work. One is, here's this object, it's kind of this branch kind of shape, sculpture extending out of it. Now, you might imagine that if this was to fall on the ground, you know, that thing might break off, right? So, I'm within the game engine at the moment, and the way you might do this is you might set this to be a rigid body, right? So, I'll just set that to be a rigid body. When I press P, it falls down. Well, notice the radius of influence has changed it such that, let's go into wireframe mode, it's easier to see in here. That radius, like this, is bumping up against that object. So I'm going to try and drop that radius down like this here. And you want to be in texture mode in GLSL to be able to see this well. Now let's press P again. Uh, that a little bit better, so let's apply it to this here as well. Rigid body, like that. And then within here, Alt A, and then it does. It works pretty good. No, that's not with Alt A. Let's press it with P. And well, it's not bad. Well, let's see. Let's look at it here. P. And it kind of breaks it up, but now notice. So let me change this radius of influence. So make it a little bit bigger. The problem with this is that you have to try and match it. So if it's if it's too big, it's going to split apart immediately when it starts falling. And if it's too small like it was before, then it didn't really break apart like it wanted. So let me press P again. Now, that's not bad. All right. So now this is within the game engine. Like that. Now let's see what that... Oh, but it also... Yeah, it does its own thing. Now this one, this cube obviously needs a little bit radi bigger radius of influence because you see when it hits the ground, it kind of sinks through the ground like that. So maybe we'll try and fix that up a little bit. Maybe like this. But then of course then when you do, then it, if the two objects are too close together within the game engine, they'll have tr uh, like that. They'll have trouble. It, looks, it doesn't look bad down at the base because it's barely going through the surface. But it does look bad there. So we'll try this. We'll make this one. We'll come down here. This is Mm. Yeah, that's not going to work. Well, so it's a lot of tweaking. All right. So instead, I'll work within the Blender render, and instead of using P, I'll use Alt A in here. And now Alt A, I can achieve a similar effect because of the new rigid bodies that we have built in. All right. So it's pretty cool in and of itself, and they both have advantages. You know, this one takes care of the collision of the surfaces pretty well, like that. It seems to break apart. And if you compare this to the self fracture add on that I was just talking about in the previous lesson, what I like about this is the, you know, the breaking is along these sharp edges like that. So it's a much more natural look to me than it is to use the self fracture add on. That's why I don't use that self fracture add on. Well, I don't. It's not that I don't use it, I rarely use it. Let's see. Yeah, pretty nice. Okay, well that's it for now, and I'll see you in the next video.